Well, hello friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee, and it's another video for freeze drying. And look at these. I got these beautiful peppers. Thank you, Cheryl, Josina. Mike brought these to me, I think last weekend. And they're beautiful. They're mixed. They're hot peppers, sweet peppers. And I don't know which is which, but thank you so very much because these will not go to waste. Um, I'm going to dry the, we're going to freeze dry these and we're going to turn these into a spice, a powder. So let's get busy because I got to chop all these up. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is put on gloves because of the fact that there's hot peppers. These are all mixed. You don't want, let me take my rings off. You don't want to cut these up. And then touch your face or eyes or whatever. So we are just simply going to, I need to get us. We're just simply going to wear gloves. And that's my bowl for the chicky babies. So you just cut the tops off these. Then you can pull it right out of there. Nice, huh? All right. I'm just going to slice these all up. All right, we got a tray there. We're going to lay them out on these trays. Okay, I'm just going to keep chopping these up. I'll turn on some nice music, and I'll bring it back when these are done. Bye. 
Okay, friends. I have got... Now I'm going to probably cut up some onions to put on the last tray and a half here. But I got these. These are gorgeous. And they're all mixed. And you, you just never want to overfill your trays because it just makes your machine run harder. So, and it doesn't, you know, it might not, it, it'll take longer too to dry things. So you try to fill it about three quarters of the way full, but not overfill it. Just read your manual if you, if you plan to buy one of these. They're very easy to operate. So these are ready for the freezer. And as soon as they are ready, I'm gonna flash freeze them. And when they are ready to go in the freeze dryer, I'll bring you back and we'll put them in there. Okay, friends, we have got, I turned this on about 15 minutes ago. So we're going to, it says load, load food into freeze dryer and close drain valve. Well, you have to, when you first turn it on, it will tell you to, that it's freezing and it takes 15 minutes to do that. So we're gonna load this food in there. And remember, these are the peppers I cut up and also the onions, okay? sure that you get a nice seal on this even if it means pulling this out just a little bit okay okay now I got a nice ring all the way around it where it's sealed okay now I'm gonna close my drain valve load food in the freezer we did that or in the freeze dryer we did that close drain valve we did that now we're gonna hit continue and this is frozen freezing that simple. So, I will see you back here probably tomorrow the same time, and we'll check those and see how they do. Okay, friends, they are out of the freeze dryer, and it took approximately 30 hours. Okay, they are crisp. I'm going to bring you up here and show you this. Can you hear that? Beautiful. Okay, now these are what I'm going to make onion powder out of. So listen. Look, look and listen if you can see. Look at how easy that crumbles into powder. Look at that. Beautiful. That is, my hands are clean too. That is going to be my onion powder. And the peppers turned out wonderful. See them? And you can hear them. You can't hear it. You probably can't hear that break. No. Anyway, they break nicely. Oh, you heard that one. They are dry. And I mean dry. They feel like little pieces of styrofoam. But this stuff is wonderful. So, what I'm going to do, friends, this turns out fantastic. And you know, they just gave me a link. For those of you who may be interested in buying a freeze dryer. So I've got a link that you can use to purchase yours if you'd like to. Um, it will take you exactly to the same place I bought mine. The Harvest Right website. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I am not going to package these in Mylar bags. Because of course, I'm just going to package them in plastic bags tonight. Because tomorrow I'm going to make this into onion powder. And... I'm going to use my Ninja, my Ninja Smart Blend to um, grind them up. The peppers I'm giving to Tracy because my family doesn't eat hot peppers. And I know there's a few sweet bell peppers in here, but that's all right. I'm just going to package all these up and I'm going to give them to Tracy because she will use them, her and her daughter. Anyway, so that's how beautiful these turn out. These are absolutely fantastic. And, um... Well, I guess let's take a little dish of water 
I'll show you that. That's probably what, and I'm just using plain old cold water. Just a little bit. We got a little bit of cold water here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that onion in there. And we're going to let that rehydrate. It's already, it's already looking good in there. It's already rehydrating. Quickly. Look at that. Look, it's just like onion again. It doesn't crush. Look, it doesn't crush. It's still got some life to it. It's not mushy. It's not exactly like it was when I, it's a little softer than when I first put them in the dehydrator. But you know what? Those will be wonderful. So there you have it, friends. I hope if you have a freeze dryer, you will go ahead and, and, and chop your onions up. You can make onion powder. You can dehydrate your garlic and make garlic powder. I do plan to do a lot of that. This is going to be my onion powder. I'm not going to put it in a video, but I just told you all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my um, ninja thing, my ninja container, and I'm going to grind it up and put it in my pantry. So there you go, friends. This freeze dryer is just fantastic. And those of you who have one, I'm sure you love it. And those of you who don't, if you want to buy one, follow my link in the description box. You all have a good day, and I'll see you soon. I like how they don't stick to that. They don't stick to the tray and make a big mess. I did order the um, uh, mats that go in on the trays. Okay, these are just going to go right in here. I'm not going to put an oxygen absorber in here either. I'm just going to let out as much of the air as I can. Because these, isn't that something else? That's so lightweight. They feel like styrofoam. But all I'm going to do is uh, grind them up tomorrow so they'll be okay tonight. And Trace is going to get hers tomorrow. And I'm not going to package hers in Mylar bags either because that's really for long-term storage. So she can put these in one of her jars or... However, she wants to do it. Look at all them. Ooh, I hope they'll fit in this bag. I doubt they will, though. That's all right. I'll get two of them. Tracy, that's a lot of peppers. They're so lightweight. This is a ride. I love this thing. Absolutely. Look at how nice those look. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. You guys have a good night.